Hey everybody, welcome back to the You Should Know Podcast, Season 2, Episode 10, Double Digits, guys. That's amazing. We did it, Double Digits. I'm very excited. Um, I knew we were going to get this far, but you know, there's always that little that little voice inside of your head saying, oh, I don't know if people are going to watch for that long, but each episode, the audience just keeps growing, the love keeps on growing. I love your comments. I love that y'all are subscribing, DMing me on Instagram, sending me pictures of you watching the podcast. It's the best thing in the world. I love you all. And you know what to do. We're at the top of the podcast. It's time to get some good karma into our system i got a comment on last week's episode saying peyton my good karma hit i told you guys go ahead and get some good karma right now if you look below you you see that subscribe button isn't mashed not the best person walking this earth but we can change that together as a unit go ahead and hit that subscribe button and then you look in that comment section you see that hey i even typed a comment out for this podcast go ahead and say hey peyton i'm here Welcome back. Congratulations on episode 10. We love you. Or just a variation of that. You don't have to say exactly that. Also, also, also got more DMs saying, hey, Peyton, where do I get that You Should Know merch? Let me tell you right now. Go to youshouldknowstudios.com. The link will be below in the description. Or you can just go over to your web browser. Hit that www. You should know studios.com. Go ahead and get you a, a hoodie or a shirt. Limited on the hoodies. It's summertime. Like I said last week, don't know why y'all want hoodies in the summer. I don't know what's going on. I don't know what kind of region you're in. I know we have a big Norway audience. Shout out to all my Norwegians tuning into the podcast. Didn't even know that y'all spoke English over in that region, but I'm glad we can communicate from across the globe. That should be a good comment that y'all can leave. Where are y'all from? Where are y'all listening to this, watching this from? And we can have a nice little regional party. See if I'm on the West Coast, East Coast, North Coast, or here in the South in the best land ever here in Texas. Um, so go ahead and do all that. Get your good karma in. Like I said at the uh, end of last week's episode, we have Cam joining the podcast here in a second. He's not in the studio yet, but I think what I'm going to do for whenever he joins uh, the podcast, we're going to pull a little prank on him. Just like anybody, we hate getting interrupted, but Cam, like, that's like one of his biggest pet peeves. It's like when he's telling something, especially if he's like really interested in what he's talking about, doesn't like getting interrupted. So I'm going to like throw him a little lob to talk about something. Just interrupt in the middle of him speaking and we're just gonna see if he like gets to the point of like absolutely exploding hopefully so it'll be good content but he's a really nice guy so i don't know if he's just gonna play cool and that wouldn't really make for good content but yeah let's go ahead and uh get cam on the podcast i'm really excited uh, i wrote down some good topics for us it's gonna be a fun episode i know uh in some episodes like the past two i've been trying to throw a little bit of seriousness in there so there can be some value in this podcast but not today Nope, not this week. We're just bullshitting this week. So, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Let's uh, wait for him to get in the studio. See you then. The you Should Know Podcast. All right, we got Cam back on the podcast. It's been so long, son. Hello. Hello, Bugsy. You want a little uh, cr- uh, and tea with it? I'm back, sire. Hello, y'all. Been a little minute. All right. Hey, where'd you get that? Uh, All right. <laughs> where'd I get what? That hoodie. I got this hoodie from uh, You Should Know Studios.com. You Should Know you should know.com you should know studios.com it's at a point we've been friends for uh, yeah i know but i bu- so okay long. i bought it there final answer you should know studios.com <laughs> there we go jesus christ hey a little update on cam's life cam's getting married next weekend or this weekend this weekend Ooh. wedding oops yeah oopsie uh wedding week is finally here um anybody that has already done it or that is going to do it Stressful, yeah. Okay, Str- Str- Sean Michaels no, but <laughs> stressful, yes. Uh, but rewarding, equally, and then way above and beyond the stress. It's just it, the stress for me was more of like, so we moved back. I'm out of Arkansas finally, thank God. <laughs> but back in the motherland, back in Texas, um, it's all within one week. Was like doing trainings and stuff for a job, applying and everything for different jobs, coming back home, moving, basically moving our entire apartment into one room, um, wedding week, getting all the, I mean, all the details already set and everything's done, but it's just, you know, you can't not worry about stuff. You're like, oh, is this done? Oh, is that done? I have some worries about your wedding that I'm going to like, like trip on the way to, because I'm in the wedding. Like I'm a part, one of the groomsmen. And, and I might get some special content of the one and only Peyton crying. So oh, yeah, yeah. be on the lookout for that. No, definite tears are coming down. He's not a big tear guy, but uh, 
So I believe I'm going to cry. And uh, when Olivia walks down the aisle, I'm probably going <laughs> to. So I think that's what I know we have some younger people in the gonna audience gonna that are going to be like, why is why is he going to cry? Like, it's not his wedding. But guys, I like these are two of my best friends. We all went to school together and like we basically grew up in our young adult life together. Yeah. And so, so now they're getting married. big moment. It's yeah. going to be fun, though. Yeah. I hope I don't trip down the aisle because then his fiance, future wife, will kill me. Yeah. So, so or I, pass out. I pray you don't trip because if you do, it's just you being irresponsible. <laughs> I went to a wedding, uh, my other friend's wedding from elementary school. I wasn't in it, but I was just in the, uh, in the, 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 um, I was in the, in the seating, but then the crowd. Yeah. <laughs> one of the, what it's called? The, You're a guest. <laughs> sit down. <laughs> one of the bridesmaids passed out. Oh, God. Yeah. Like, <laughs> she so y'all haven't out. so Liv hasn't been on yet I hope maybe down the line she will but <laughs> um, <laughs> she would lose it if one of her bridesmaids passed out if Peyton tripped not in like a you've ruined my day but she would just be like oh god why me like so yeah hopefully yeah. he doesn't trip hopefully it doesn't happen yeah but since you're you're back on you were but when we were coming up to the studio earlier like we were hanging out earlier and um, you were starting to talk about this, like, it was like kind of like a phil philosophical thing, but you were like yes. really intrigued in talking about it. And I told you to save it for the podcast. So go yes. ahead and, and, and tell everybody. Okay. So do y'all remember that episode when episode two? Yeah, no chance. No clue. Yeah, I don't know. Either two or three, I believe. And, or no, I think it was the one with Ryan. Yeah. Oh yeah. The Ryan one. I think one it was we four. About I think it was episode theories. four. And we were talking about the little conspiracy theories and stuff like that. And we brought up like the color one. And that's, it's more of like a, um, I get, this isn't a conspiracy, but I mean, I, I'm weird. I don't know. I like these things, like just things that make you think whatever, but basically it's like a, I don't I won't even deem it like a philosophical question, but just a question to get you thinking and have different opinions on it and stuff. So basically it's about, have you ever heard that one? It's like the tree. Like if a tree falls into a, like a, if a tree falls in a forest. Yeah. Isn't there like no one of those, uh, kind of like conspiracy theories? Like, uh, it, it's like not like a, a real conspiracy theory, but it's like one of those fun ones. We, me and you were talking about that earlier. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> uh, okay. Is there, ah, uh, you've just, <laughs> you've thrown me a curve right there. Yeah. Um, but that's kind of what you're talking about, right? I mean, yeah, but yeah. it's, so it's like if the, tr so Jesus, if the the question is, if a tree falls in a forest and no one's there, did it make a sound? Right. So basically, well, first off, what's your what's what do you think? Um, I would say Tr yeah, it makes a noise. See, that's what I said too for the longest. I think I mean it still does. But there's but also like like other conspiracies that kind of like more fun than that, where it just kind of like I don't know, I can't think of it off the top of that, so keep going. More f okay, more fun. <laughs> Just no, I'm, I didn't I'm a boring mean it like, guy. No, no, I didn't mean I'm, it like I'm that. Kidding, but yeah, yeah. Uh, so basically, it's like, so the way it, the way it was said, I read like I was reading about it, not like I searched it, but I'm saying it was on this like when it popped but it, up. But it's and there like was a super hard to like. It's like hard to find those Let's kinds. Go, what's, what are you? What are y'all? What is this? What are y'all doing? What do you mean? Never mind. <laughs> what know. are you talking about? <laughs> like. Am I, did I, did you have something to tell me or am I saying this to you or just what's, what are you, what are the, <laughs> what are you talking about? I don't know. I feel like I haven't even asked it yet. And yeah, we were getting into it. Okay. What the, continue. Am I wrong? Fair, no, no, you're good. I just, <laughs> I don't even know. Are you I'm upset at me right <laughs> now? No, no, I'm good. I was, no, all right. Okay. Go ahead. You go. What do you mean? I go. You were the one that brought it up. Yeah, that's what I thought too. But <laughs> <laughs> am I am I in the wrong? Did I do something wrong? No. You no, no. All right, clean slate. You are being different. Um, it's just a prank. We were just fucking with you. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah. we. Uh, <laughs> I was like, y'all are literally speaking if right. Like every time I'm about to say it, you're just talking. And the minute I was like. All right, it's his podcast. I'm just gonna let him talk. But <laughs> what's going on? Yeah, no, we were just fucking with you, Cam. I was telling them earlier before you got on that you hate being interrupted, and so I was just oh, saying how far. God, I didn't even know how to like get in there because like I'm bad. Like I'm, yeah, I was getting. Well, like, it was good. You fool. I mean, you're. I was slightly getting pissed. You know, it, I was keeping it on the inside, but I was like, "What the hell is going?" They on? They were smiling back there, and so I was trying. Yeah, not to I was laugh. like, "Why are you?" 
Anyway, all right. It's May. Okay, May. Okay, now to clear it, so I'm not just a freak. Right. No one likes getting interrupted, but the number one person that interrupts me every time I speak is Olivia, <laughs> and that is like, say Liv was right here, and like we're all three talking about something. It's like right when I go to give my two cents, she's like, "Yeah, but it's it's this instead," and I'm just like, "Okay," every every single time, like. It, it's always going to happen. All right, so let's actually start to get into these philosophical questions because, like, it's going to be fun. And okay. Well, be, okay. <laughs> now you make me th sound like a freak and, like, this is going to be lame. That's now true. I'm, like, like insecure about yeah, no, this. No, they like but, this kind of stuff. Okay. Uh, basically, the question is, like, if a tree falls in a forest and no one's there to hear it, did it make a sound? Obviously, quickly, everyone's like, yes. Like, just because no one's there to hear it. It made it like it's gonna make a sound. A tree is falling. It's a whole tree. It's gonna fall. It's gonna boom. Whatever. But it's gonna boom. <laughs> but the thing, like, the thing that it said was like, sound is. I'm gonna butcher it per usual. But sound is like, us detecting it. Like if no, if if it's sound itself is really just vibrations. Mm -hmm. But if it doesn't hit an ear, it's like it was never. Like. I don't even know how it was said. It, it was basically saying like the waves were made and sound was made, but it's like if it's not detected by an ear, then it wasn't like a sound. Like it can't be heard. There was nothing to detect it. So then I was like, okay, that's kind of like a stretch, whatever, you know, yeah. they're about to pull a muscle with how much stretching they're doing for this to try to make this point. But so then it was like, just as if, you know, like dog whistles, mm -hmm. you know, like those super high frequencies yeah. that we f physically can't hear. Right. Still a sound. Right. We can't hear it. And it said, it was, it went on to say, it was like, until a, 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 until a device is made that can detect such high frequencies, like once that's then made or whatever, the sound is now here, mm -hmm. but all the way up until that point, it never existed simply because we couldn't hear it. I think it's pretty fucking stupid. I think it is too, but I just <laughs> wanted, I wanted to see what you had to say about it. Yeah, I think we just agreed on that. So like... I wish I would have known before so I could have just played devil's advocate. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, I agree too, but I thought I, the part that like got, got me, the part that like intrigued me was that last part. It was like, yeah, we, I mean, we can't hear all these super high or super low frequencies unless it's like detected on machine saying it's there. Like we'd have no clue. That's, that's a good point, but I mean, it's still, it's, I don't know. It's still making a noise just because we yeah, can't hear. Yeah, that's but, what I said. I mean, the, it's kind of a dumb question but i just wanted to see what you had to like say about it i have this i have this thought okay and this is a good one i need you to like really think about this okay all right why do drive through atms have braille on the numbers <laughs> damn it <laughs> what oh. audience was that what audience was that made for <laughs> see bro that's so true like I might sound like an asshole yeah but, like, why like, is it there? no you don't even sound like it's like whoever made that is an asshole why so if someone is blind, <laughs> why are they driving? Period. End of discussion. Like anybody that did braille on the keypad <laughs> at an ATM needs to be fired, investigated, needs to be seen if they're just like doing this like global form of bullying. Like I don't know what attention they're trying to bring to blindness, but that's clearly like that's never going to be used. I'm all for inclusivity, but at Me some too. point it's just like, like no one should practical. be left out. We know here at the here at the podcast at the studio we are for everybody exactly but we're also for common sense <laughs> big advocate of common sense and the more life goes on it turns out common sense is not that common when it comes to a lot of things oh, yeah and that's unfortunate but i mean in what scenario would th would that make sense where there would be braille on those like that's what, what that's what, what i'm trying the only the only the only thing that i could think of and this is still a stretch would be like in other countries where no, but that, I'm an idiot. I was about to say in other countries where the driver's on the right-hand side, but then the ATM would just be on the right-hand side. <laughs> Damn it. Uh, yeah, I don't know. The, I Maybe if there's like, they take an Uber or something. You know what I'm saying? I mean, yeah, but that's like, if you're a blind person taking an Uber, it's like, just sit down. What are you doing? Why are you, go why do you need cash? What are you doing? What do you mean they can't make purchases? Debit card. <laughs> Why can't they use cash? Because the process of getting cash is so much more. Like and like, how would you if, know what what? Like my grandma is probably <laughs> on a scale of one to ten, probably like eight blind. Like, just how it is. And it's like all her stuff is automated. Mm -hmm. She can use the computer and stuff like that because 
she has like a big like a magnifying application on and stuff like that and she really has to work to get it but it's like she would never in a million years and she can still see certain things she would never ever get in the car go to an atm and try to get cash out in a million years it would never happen i can guarantee you that so I cannot think of a practical use for Braille. If if you work at a any bank, drive through, yeah. If you work at a bank, start a petition, <laughs> remove, scrape the Braille off, remove it, get a new keypad, because this that might be a form of bullying at this point. That it, is just it's like, it's like yeah, almost yeah. That is that's like borderline. You're someone's trying to send a message to the blind. Oh shit! Oh. And it won't be received because they will never use Braille in a drive through of any fashion. Oh, because they can't try it. <laughs> because they're blind. All right. <laughs> Next, that is how have I never. That's unbelievable. I've never even thought about that. I but mean, that's so true, though. They do. Yeah, it's like it's like on the keypad. Yeah, because I was using the. I went to the drive through ATM the other day, and I was going there. You know how I overthink everything, and I was just like, "Why am I feeling yeah. bumps on why this?" Are, why are nudges on this? That's insane. Yeah, I didn't even think about that. That is insane. Um, another one. This is actually like I really like I do want the answer to this is when you're God. at a movie theater, which armrest is yours? Do you always swing left or do you swing life or right? Like what what is the, the right way to go? Because I mean, as a role, you have to be in a general consensus of where you're going. And what's like the, 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 the cultural norm for that? I'm trying to picture it. If I sit down, I'm a right. I mean, this right here, this obviously the like it's here. So I have to use it. But Kay. I would say I'm a right. But is the tone set by who's at the end of the row? Well, if you're, if it's like a sold out, like MCU film opening night, like <laughs> I don't see too many people like just trying to take both. Or I'm pretty, I'm, I think it's more of like a it's more of a, an elbow thing. I think though. it's more of an availability thing. Okay, what's available? Okay. Like if I if I show up to my seats a little late, there's a person to the right, person to the left. The person to the right is using the left one. But the person to the left of me is not using their right. They're also using left. <laughs> I would plant right there. And <laughs> but, that would just be the end of that. But what's like, because th there has to be like a social norm of like, this is what you're supposed to do. Maybe we've never gotten taught that, but like, what what are you supposed to, because how many arm armrests are there on a row? Yeah, I don't, now you're think, I, I'm I'm thinking about all rows. What about planes? That's a good one. Like, because there's three, the person is three. Seats. Yeah, the person in the middle. I think they always get jurisdiction to go both. If you're in the middle, you're in a shit spot. <laughs> you are. You have to like very bad spot. You get the luxury of picking your arm. I hope you're on a 45 minute flight if you're in the middle. God. Well, okay. Granted, not. I feel like not too many of y'all would understand what it'd be like to be six seven in a middle spot. Just absolute, absolutely bad. Mm -hmm. Like terrible. But. Whenever I fly to go see you, I, on the way back, I always get middle. Like, it's always, like, I just get no. forced to go middle. I always, so Southwest is, like, uh, groups. It's, like, A, B, and C. It's not, like, you don't have an assigned seat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, if you get an A and you gun for it for, the, like, the uh, emergency <laughs> exit seat, you're kicked up the whole flight. It's amazing. I actually but, have a crazy plane story that I just remembered. So, oh God. Uh, I was one time, I was on a plane one time, and you ever get those pressure uh, headaches mm -hmm. wherever like the back of your jaw is hurting your teeth hurt and it's like the one of the worst pains ever yeah. i would say it's worse than childbirth can't really speak to that mm. but based on what i heard this pain was 10 times worse i'm gonna no. get killed for saying that yeah no <laughs> but so i got one of those pressure headaches on the plane and it was uh, a connecting flight so like i had this flight and then i land and i have another flight mm -hmm. so whenever i got to the second airport i was like i cannot feel that again like i will never feel that again <laughs> i will do anything i have to, to do not to that. not feel that pain again so you know that they have those like gas stations in the airport right I go to the gas station I see some Tylenol PMs just in there and I'm like ooh PM. so I can get pay no pain and I can sleep during this flight and when I tell you this is one of the worst pains I ever felt I was like I need to not feel this again so I might have taken maybe a couple more than the daily average maybe a little maybe a double dose you know what I'm saying a little bit of extra in the in the palate you know a little for some overtime you yeah. know what I'm saying so I was like ooh I get to sleep and no pain that sounds like a good gabagool kind of dish you know what I mean yeah so I take these little medications, right? Mm -hmm. Time to board the flight. As soon as I sit down on the flight, I'm like, okay, I'm feeling good so far. Feeling, I'm starting to feel a little loosey drowsy, goosey. Yeah. Shoulders are setting. But I'm in the middle seat and I'm between a family. So it's somebody's, it's his mom, right? She's, I would say she's about 45 to 50 years old on the right of me. Then her daughter on the left of me. I would say about 
eight years old. I know I should have done that, but I was just like, that is your fault. It, I would have been it, like, it, it hey, you matter. don't want to sit next to your daughter? She's like, no. I'm like, okay, well, uh, how about you sit next to your daughter? <laughs> so, I, but I was like, fuck it. So I'm sitting in the middle of these two people, right? And as soon as we, it was a nighttime flight. So as soon as we get up in the air, they cut those overhead lights off. Now it's dark in the plane. Now I'm like, ooh, I'm about to get a good snooze Sleep. on this plane. So it was one of those snoozes. Like, I don't remember falling asleep. So, bow, lights out. I fall asleep. Now, it was one of those sleeps. I had no control of my body. Yeah. Good I would, sleeps. Not ideal for air, but good <laughs> sleeps. So I'm asleep this whole plane ride, right? Mm -hmm. I don't wake up until wheels hit earth, lights turn on, you hear a ding, and then a bunch of seatbelts unclicking. You know what I'm saying? <gasps> it was one of those. But I didn't move whenever I woke up. So I woke up, bow. And when I looked, the row in front of me was turned around looking at me. The flight attendant was standing up, looking down on me, and the people behind me were above their chairs looking at me like this. I look to my right. The mom is death staring at me. I'm like, what the hell did I do <laughs> what is in my sleep? Have we landed? Where are we? <laughs> Am I dead? What's going on? I'm like, did I like say something in my sleep or like yeah. start fighting in my sleep? Did <laughs> it's a... <laughs> You're just like, ah, 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 that's a f in the plane. <laughs> so funny. Could you imagine? Yeah, that's not. I'm sorry, but that is funny. But like, imagine you say like something reckless. So, yeah, so like you that. cannot say on a plane. But so whenever I initially woke up, I'm just checking my surroundings with my eyes. I have no like thought. I don't think about where my body is at. As mm -hmm. soon as I start to think about where my body is at, my head is laying on the mom's shoulder. Complete stranger. My head is on the mom's shoulder. The flight attendant is nudging me. He's like, sir, <laughs> sir, sir, you need sir. to wake up. I'm sir, like, you need to wake up. I'm like, what the hell? And I look and I'm on her shoulder. And I'm like, oh my God. And whenever I jerk off of her shoulder, uh, just a nice little puddle of drool is just stringing off oh. my mouth onto this mom's shoulder. <laughs> and I'm like, oh. I'm like, what did I do? And she's like, sir, you need to get up. We've been trying to get you up for about 35 minutes now. And I'm like, I'm oh, sorry. I'm oh, sorry. She's like, oh, where's my bag? The whole flight, I was resting on this strange woman's shoulder, oh. drooling on her. This was pre-COVID, so nothing like, yeah. it's still gross, but like. Very gross. I was drooling on her shoulder. The daughter is just like, what are you doing to my mom? Yeah. That's the th And if we, the thing about you is like, that would never happen if you were awake. You would never, ever, ever rest on a stranger at all. Ever. Like, no <laughs> matter the, so you would have. You would have spent the whole ride like that before you bro, oh, drooling on this. Dude, you just reminded me of a story that I haven't thought about in a long time. It's basically like, it's not in a plane, but it's the same, like a sleep story. So, and I don't know, I remember this so vividly. It was in like fifth grade in my teacher's class and I went to sleep and I like head down on the desk as one does, mm -hmm. like one of these. Yeah, good one. Good sleep. Good one of those marks on your forehead. So it was like, I think, I don't remember exactly. It was like testing or something, but basically she comes to like nudge me to wake me up mm -hmm. and i was in such deep sleep <laughs> that when she nudged me i literally was like stop it <laughs> like i said <laughs> and like it was a tired voice <laughs> but it was so direct and i was like stop like quit and and then so i woke up and i immediately realized what i just said very loud too to my and she was so sweet too she was like she was my favorite teacher and i realized what had happened so then afterwards, like she just, she, oh, 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 and she walked back. So then like, you know, I get to my senses like two, three minutes later and I'm like, I'm like, oh my God, why did I just say that? So I walk up to her and I'm like, I'm like, hey, I'm so sorry. Uh, I didn't realize like that was you. Like I was a super deep sleep. I thought it was my mom. So I said that. So then I go up and sit back down. And I'm like, now this woman thinks I talk crazy to my mom. Right. And then I'm just like, I'm like. I don't know why I thought I was on the couch. Cause like, okay, I don't know if I'm the only one. My big thing as a kid, when I would come home and like late at night or something, not even late, but like as a kid and I fell asleep on our couch, very comfy couch and I would fall asleep on it. And then my dad or mom would come in and be like, go to your bed. Yeah. And that is, it used to just enrage me. Like you're so, you just see red. You're just oh like, my <laughs> God. I was always so mad at it. Cause I was like, I'm in our house. Like, this is home. Just let me sleep on the couch. When I wake up, I'll go to my bed willingly. There should like, be no regulation yeah, on where I lay my head. And you're not, e like, so it's like an L couch, you know? Like, yeah. it's like there's some this way and then a long one this way. I'd be asleep here. It's like, 
you can still sit down if you want. Don't wake me up. I'm not interrupting. If we anything. have if we have a single love seat, sure. And you want to sit down and watch your show? T- tell me to book it. But it's like I'm in a great sleep after a long day of being a kid. Don't wake me up. And I used to get so angry. So I told the woman, I was like, "Sorry, I thought you were my mom." And like, remember, I would literally was like, "Stop it!" Like, people quit. So then, the whole, like the rest of the class, it was only like five minutes till the bell rang, and I was like. I have to t- I have to go up to her and talk to her again and explain that I don't talk to my mom. Like I was so in my head. You were just you were spiraling. It was so <laughs> bad. And I went up to her and I was like, I was like, "Hey, I'm sorry about everything." And I was like, "I know I said that I thought you were my mom, but I didn't mean it like that. I just meant kind of like, you know, I thought I was at home, but don't think I talk like that to my mom." And as a fifth grader, like, what is that? It's like, eleven mm-hmm. years old. God, that was a day. I was just like. Oh, now my, t- I was rude to my teacher for no reason. She thinks I'm insane. She thinks I talk crazy to my mom. Yeah, I, I, I literally have not thought about that until your sleep story. That's you have, funny. You, I know we can't that tell this. Funny. We can't tell this story on the podcast, but you have a teacher story, the one that you told me on. Oh Facebook. my, cannot. <laughs> I, can't, I can't. Unless I mean, <laughs> it can't. It can't. Yeah, it, it can't. can't. That is. That's so lame that I just said. I shouldn't have brought that yeah, up because they, I can't tell them. But that was, that is ooh. un. <laughs> believable and yeah. it's we can't, we'll, we can't. Ha- we'll get it to you some way once we have like a patreon for the, the, I was for about the to say the that has to be like a special like behind a paywall type yeah because that's that's it's one that there's a bird trying to enter the studio do you see oh, that oh <laughs> there's a foul a pigeon <laughs> get in here but I'm, um i'm receiving a call hold on sorry this no, isn't unprofessional business professional. what are we doing if you're gonna Sca- answer it answer it on Answer the scam likely on the, on the scam thing. likely. And put it to, to the mic. Put it to the mic and put it on speaker. <clears throat> Hello. Hello, this is Lisa with US Tax Assistance. <laughs> no. If you owe the IRS more than seven thousand in back tax debt or have unfiled tax returns, we can possibly help. There you go. I owe them a million. <laughs> Just <kidding. laughs> no, they, dude. The amount of scam. I don't know that if that's a thing too. The amount of scam likelies we're getting. Unbelievable. I got like four before we started filming. I lit- No, legit. I get like. Probably like eight a day, eight or nine a, a day, what a is, day. And now, and it's like so counterproductive. The before all the like uh, phone carrier companies started putting in like uh, scam protection yeah. to where it pops up as scam. Right. You can't block a number when mm. there's not a number. Exactly. Before, I'd answer it. Hello, if it's scam, I'd literally block it. That number can never call my phone again. Mm-hmm. Long process, but it was kind of working. It's like now it's just scam, scam, scam. You know how many scam. times I've heard about my car's extended warranty? Oh my God. You know how many times people call me asking to buy my house? Bro, I'm like, same. hey, buddy, if I had a house, one, I'm not selling it. Two, I'd be a lot better off right now. I don't, ha- I don't have a home. Or the solar energy people oh that try to like put the thing on. But um, it's ridiculous. I know bro. I'm going back a little bit to the plane thing. I need to know something. Who's in the right and who's in the wrong with this plane thing? So if you're sitting in a plane and somebody retracts their seat onto you, are you? They're in the wrong. Ah, I don't know. Because that that that's their freedom. Like yeah, that if seat, the seat If the seat wasn't supposed to recline, it wouldn't be able to. Yeah, that seat wouldn't have that function if you weren't supposed to do it. So do you just eat that and be like, well, you're not no, wrong? No, you can't. No, okay. It's just a moral thing. That, let's that say point. let's say there's three clicks, like three. Yeah. Bang, bang, bang. Yeah. No one should ever be on the third one, regardless. Not? Ever. Why I don't not? care how tired you are, because that's just like it makes you a bad person. But are you in the wrong? Is the question. I think so. If you go to the third click, yeah. But why? But then it's common courtesy. But you can be like, "Hey, why?" You, you could be like, "That's like you. Sta- that's like me. you standing in a line for, say, you're at Chipotle and you're standing in line to get food. It's like, what if the guy behind you is physically touching you? <laughs> he's in the line. He's doing the same thing you are, but he is standing so damn close to you that he he's touching you. You can hear his breathing pattern. Like no one, are they in the wrong? Yes. Why? It's COVID rule, six feet. All right, but you're in the wrong. Then if you're leaning, if you're reclined back on me to where I can almost peek over and we make eye contact, you're in the wrong as well. I don't care if it's allowed to do that. Like, you're allowed to stand in line. You can be in line to get your food. Don't be that close. But they can say one thing to shut down your whole argument. You could be like, hey, man, can you put up your seat a little bit? Like, you're on my knees. And they'd be like, it wouldn't have that function if I wasn't supposed to do it. What do you say after that? I say, hey, man, can you cover up your black eye? (laughs) I don't have a black eye. Well, you're about to if you don't (laughs) do your seat up. So (laughs) You're on a no-fly list. Hey, that's fine. I got a car. Um, oh seven Honda Pilot. Uh, we're gonna we have a uh, about two more topics to get into the podcast. Let's take a little break because I have to pee, and then uh, we'll get into the rest of it. Wow. The you should know podcast. All right, we're back, and Cam, I have to tell you, how I have, was your piss break? Re- relieving. Did anybody checkmate you this time? No one. 
No, no, check made me, but something okay. did awkward happen. Like it, <laughs> like I don't know uh, what it is with me in bathrooms. Just, <laughs> but like you know, whenever like you're you need to invest in in your own toilet here, just a little bidet in the corner, so you don't have to. So no more of these scenarios happen. I was peeing, and I was peeing at the urinal right by a stall. So it's like me stall right here. Normally, you can't see anybody in the stall, right? Because mm-hmm. they're sitting as they're supposed to. Mm-hmm. I was just peeing, minding my own business. I thought I was in there alone, right? I look over to my left thinking, hey, no one's over there. I can just peek over to the left. I look over to the left. I see a human skull over the, over the stall. And I'm like, oh, shit. Why are you standing? <laughs> oh, God. Oh, yeah. But uh, anyway. Uh, but the story I wanted to tell you, I had the weirdest first date the other day. God. It was, uh, it was crazy. It was actually like... like she's, it might... It might it might start to be Peyton's fault. No, you know you what? are the common denominator, so I don't know if you're just picking wrong or giving people the benefit of the doubt. But let's hear it. Uh, yeah, it was bad, and I'm nervous about telling you because I know she's watching this. Um, oh <laughs> it makes it even better. Yeah. Uh, so we went to this we went to this restaurant, right? Mm-hmm. And we went and sat down as we do across from each other, not side by side like some kind never of creatures. Never side by side. Never do it. We don't want to bump elbows Unless you're the with table. another couple, never exactly. side by side. Exactly. She was nice enough to sit on the other side. It's like, okay, maybe she's been watching the video. She knows don't sit beside me. So she sits across the table and we begin to get some drinks. We get some wine. You know, we're really doing it up. We're drinking, having a nice combo, getting, getting the Sounds appetizers, good. doing the whole thing. So that's when the conversation started to flow. And first it was like the normal, like pleasantries, all that yeah. normal oh, this stuff. this is nice. Oh, yeah. there, you look good, blah, blah, blah. And so I'm like, oh, this is going good. But then it gets ruined because she asked me, what's your zodiac sign? Nope. No. Don't ask me that. No. If you are a grown adult and you're basing your mood and how you behave off of the stars and a website you logged into no. in the morning, no. grow up. Yeah. If I have to know where the Big Dipper is this evening to know how you're going to ask for your steak to be cooked and how you're going to interact with me, I'm just going to leave. I'll pay for your Uber. I don't want to have to research Orion's belt and find out if you're going to have a headache at 8 p.m. or if this is going to be a good night. Never. I have never been an advocate for that. I don't know. A lot of them seem to be accurate, but... It's the most vague stuff I, I was in the about world. To, I was about to say, I feel like it could apply to anyone. Exactly. Like, that's literally, like, on other, like, on other people's TikToks and stuff. I saw it, the, like, probably two weeks ago. I, I don't remember what their podcast was, but basically it was, like, these, it was, like, guys and girls, mm-hmm. and they were, like, clowning the girls oh, for doing I've that stuff. It, yeah. And he was, like, I don't even believe, like, because if I told you that I was a Taurus, like, you wouldn't even believe me. And the girl was, like, it's really, you're a Taurus? I can see that. I can, he's like, exactly. I'm not a Taurus. Like, that's, it's, it's just so, oh God. Yeah, I think if you're that's an That's a bad, for, that's a bad thing. And I think if you're an adult and you, and you like do your whole mood off of the stars and all that, I think you're just dodging accountability for your actions. Like, you can't be like, hey, I'm being a bad person yeah. today because the moon's in retrograde. No, you're yeah, not. No. You're just a bad you just have person. A bad day. Just get out of it. Yeah. Everyone has their bad days. Not saying you can't have a bad day. That's completely normal. No, th- like girls, like this girl I know, like this girl I personally know, she's like, yeah, I just can't be faithful in a relationship. I cheat because it's just like my sign. Like this is oh, what we do. I'm like, no. oh no, you're just a bad person. Yeah. That's all you're that is. You're just a cheater. And so. Right, you cheat. <laughs> right then and there, I'm like, okay, this date is going downhill with a swiftness. Red flag. Then we proceed that's, to that's have. a red card in soccer. <laughs> no one does with a red flag. It's a red card. Sorry. Then we, no, you're good. Then we proceed to go on with the conversations. Now I'm already kind of iffy about this date because now I'm like, oh no, she's basing everything off of the moon and the stars today. She then asks me a question, dead ass, looks me in the eyes and goes, do you have any strange medical conditions? <laughs> I didn't know I had to fill out a waiver to have to get you and your time. It's, it's like now at this point, you're buying your dinner. I'm not paying for you anymore. You will not ride home with me. What do you know? Strange medical conditions? What? It's like, what do you want to know? Do I get rashes irregularly? Yeah, what's, what what's want- next? Hey, how much student debt do you have? What are, like, are we getting married soon? Do, uh, like, no, this is a first date. Ask me what I do in my free time. What, like, what I like about you even. Stuff like that. Don't ask me my debt, my star sign, my strange medical conditions. 
Like it's an, no. like it wasn't even like of a concern. Like, hey, do you have any medical conditions that I should be aware of? Just yeah, in case like, you hey, fall I, out. I can't, I can't buy this like this peanut butter, you know, truffle thing. I don't, are are you allergic to peanuts? No, that I would be like, oh, that was really sweet. No, I'm not allergic. She Strange goes, medical conditions. Like, what do you want? <laughs> Like, my thing is, how would that conversation go if you, if you were like, yeah, I have mesothelioma or something? And she's just like, oh, okay, what what's next? <laughs> what categorizes as a strange Question memory? 37. Let's move on to the next one. What? It, why am I filling out a uh, auditory waiver right now for you in, in this date? This should not happen. This has never happened. And this won't happen. Again. It's like, how about you help me file my taxes for the yeah. second date? You know what I'm saying? Oh, my God. It was a, it was a bad date. She, lovely girl. She was great, <laughs> but uh, it was a strange, like, series of questions to oh, ask me. Oh, that's, that's just, that's unfortunate. Yeah, is there, um, is there anything else you want to, you want to talk yes. about for the podcast? So here we go. Oh, shit. I didn't Exclusive. think you would have anything. Here we go. So, um, I showed up a little late, like, to the podcast, whatever, but I stopped, had to get food, and I don't think you've ever told him, he's never had guacamole. Oh, no. Ever. What do I do? I stop at Chipotle. I bring guac. You dead ass, bro. Oh uh. no. Oh god. He he's such a Yeah, I've a never kid had kid when it comes to food. I've like, never had any branch of an avocado, not avocado, <laughs> not guac, not anything. See, comment and tell him like avocado toast with eggs, sausage, cheese even. You can do whatever on it. Avocado spread on other things like bro, avocados what are you doing? What the? F you told me to eat the avocado. There's chips in the bag. You're going to just spoon and gum down some guacamole? This is the shit I'm talking about. <laughs> what? You were really about to just eat guacamole for the first time with a spoon. Yeah. That's like someone telling you, hey, try this salsa. And you just go, I feel like I won't drink get, it. I won't get the real taste of it if I don't just have it by itself. What? Whatever. Just. All right. Here. No, you're going to do that and then. Whether you like it or not, I require you to try it with the chip okay. as it's supposed to be eaten. Go for it. First, Here we go. Ready? First Three, time having guacamole. Two, one. Don't you even. Don't you even. Do not even. It is good. <sighs> I didn't poison it or anything. It's good. You know, like when you throw up in your mouth and you okay. swallow it? Okay. It is not that bad. It's from Chipotle. I mean, they don't have like the great, like, get table side guac, but no way. You want to know the worst part? Now you have to do it again with a chip. I refuse. You have to. I refuse. I required. Bro, the consistency is so bad. It's like, it's like throw up. It's a little mush. It's not throw up, but Bro. You put it on a chip. Can I clean my palate with the chip first? Put it, sure. Those chips are great. Chipotle, your chips? Phenomenal. Stale. <laughs> no, they're not. Bro, that was fucking terrible. Try, well, the hell, when you're done, go ahead and pass it back. All right. So now I'm about to have guac with a chip for the first time. Yep. It's not that bad. Bro, it literally tasted like I threw up in my mouth no, and then it swallowed not. it. No, it did not. No, it did not. All right. Guac with the chip. You like every other ingredient inside of that you've had before, you like. What do you mean? I've never had avocado before. I said, but, well, I meant to say besides avocado. Like every what other else is in here? And guacamole? There's multiple things. Tomatoes, jalapenos, lime juice, some oh. onions. Go for it. What is that? Go for it. Three, two, one. Digest. See, now you got a crunch. It helps with the consistency a lot. I told you you were the weirdo going for a spoonful of guac. It's like you're eating baby food. <laughs> That's what it tastes like. But see, you see how he's not uh, uh, with it the chip. It's so much better with a chip. Will I spend my hard-earned money on two dollars with a guac ever again? No. Pass it back to your boy. That was fucking nice. Can I keep the chips? No, <laughs> because normal people don't just gum down guac with a spoon. Oh my god, bro. Okay, um, let's wrap this podcast up before I throw up. Hold on, just talk to them for a second. Don't what chew do you into the mic. People are in their cars. <laughs> what do you know? Good guac, quality, good and great. See, you can see the avocado. See the little onions. 
Oh. You taste the lime. It's good. Y'all be eating he's that? Tripping. He's Y'all tripping. Y'all eat that shit? Yes. Comment and say, yes, we eat guacamole. We're normal. Yes. Y'all choose to put that in your body over queso, salsa? You do all three. That's the beauty. There's no way y'all are mixing that up. Y'all are not doing no, a trifecta. No, 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 no. no you don't do say. a trifecta. But you you, you do a guac, you do Holy a queso. Holy shit, bro. That was foul. Okay. Um. All right. That was episode 10 of the You Should Know podcast. Thank you so much for uh, watching, listening. Uh, if you haven't already, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Uh, thank you so much, Cam. Congratulations on about to get married. I'm very excited to go up to Oklahoma and uh, get you married. Yep. Um, guys, you know what the deal is. If you're sticking around to the end of the episode... There's a secret code in the comment section just for the loyal followers, just for me and you. Everybody else is going to be like, what is this? Did I miss this part of the episode? When did he talk about this? The secret code for today's episode is... What is it? Uh, What is it? What did I I say earlier? What is it? It's a... Fuck. (laughs) That's just off the top of my head. Oh, okay. Uh... Uh, the secret code for today's ep- the secret code for today's episode is that boy Cam is married. That boy Cam is married. It's a hell of a code. Yeah, it's gonna be today's. All right. Code. Well, I get. Can I? Can I do a, a secret? Yeah, code? Yeah, bro, go ahead. Okay, here we Will go. Will they use it? I don't know. My secret code, if you rock with me, and even if you don't, by all means. But my secret code. Because I will check the comments. I will check the comments. I better have at least one person. My secret code for episode 10 is going to be... It's a little hard, ain't it? Gig. Guac is good. Gig? Guac is good. Gig. You, so can, you, you can either put G-I-G, gig, or you can spell out guac is good. But if you really want to confuse the casuals... Yeah, gig would be good. Gig. Guac is so choose what to do. Good. Put that boy Cam is married or gig. And uh that was episode ten of the You Should Know Podcast. We'll be back uh Monday again. Thank you so much for watching, listening. I love you all so much. Thank you so much. Don't forget to comment, subscribe, like hoodies, t shirts, you should know studios.com. And remember, one out of ten koala bears don't make it home to Christmas. I'll see you guys next time. I did it this time. Hell yeah. Boom.